Hey, what's up, Jayla? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hey, are you ready to record? Yeah, let's go do it. All right, cool. Awesome. I'm excited about this video, Jayla. I think it's going to be cool. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've had this camera on. What's going on, CP kids? We are back here with another video. Did you like my robot? It was so good. I'm pretty good at a robot, man. Just kidding, I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what is the first thing we do when we get to Karen's place? We, 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 we. Hopefully you guys followed every we with Craig, because if you <laughs> did it, then I just looked like a really good guy. So anyways, we pray, and so that's what we're gonna do. Jill, would you like to pray? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we know that as we walk through life, we need your wisdom, and you tell us that if we ask for it, that you'll give it to us. So right now, I just pray for your wisdom as we walk through um, our life, and we love you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the next order of business is one we all love, and that is Game Day! <laughs> Jayla, have you ever played Red Light, Green Light? Uh, yeah, and I'm super good at it. My kids love this game. Yeah, it's a fun one. You guys know how to play Red Light, Green Light? I hope you do. If not, this is how you play. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is how you play Red Light, Green Light. You have to have one person who's going to be the stoplight, and they're going to yell out, Green Light! Red Light! And while they're doing that, the other participants have to act as if they're a car trying to get all the way to the other side of the room or all the way across the yard or all the way to the shoe on the floor, whatever place that you guys have marked ahead of time. You have to try to get there, but you have to obey the traffic light. Check this out. All right, Chad Michael, your goal is to make it to the stage. Okay. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, green light, red light, green light, red light, red light. Oh. oh man, <laughs> so close. So if you move after they say red light, you have to start back at the very beginning. No one else does, just you do. Jayla tricked me with a double red light and I <laughs> went like that and so now I have to start all the way back over. So that's how you play. First person to get wherever you guys have specified, the other side of the room, the other side of your backyard, to the shoe on the floor, whatever it is, the first person to get there wins. Who's it gonna be? Wise up, yo. Wise up. Come on. I'm gonna listen and do. Wise up. Hey. Every day we choose to wise up. Yeah. I'm gonna listen and do. Wise up. Wise up, y'all. Wise up. Lean in, in, in. To the back, to the front. Listen up, up, up. Jump, jump. Don't let your day slide away. Slide left, slide right. Work hard, work hard. Fist pump, fist pump. Wise up. Come on. I'm gonna listen and do. Wise up. Hey. Every day we choose to wise up. Yeah, I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Wise up, y'all. Lean in, in, in. To the back, to the front. Listen up, up, up. Uh, jump, jump. Don't let your friends bring you down. Get down, get down. Keep your heart turned up. Get up, get up. Wise up. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Come on, y'all. Every day we choose to wise up. Hey, I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Come on. Every day we choose to wise up Lean in, in, in To the back, to the front Listen
listen up, listen up, up, up. Jump, jump, Don't let uh. your friends bring you down. Get down, get down. Keep get your down. heart turned up. Get up, get up, wise up. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Yeah. Every day we we'll choose to wise up. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Wise up. Wise up. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Hey. Every day we we'll choose to wise up. Come on. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Every day we we'll choose to wise up. It's time to wise up, y'all. Wise up. Wise up. Whew. Whew. man. Beautiful day, but boy, oh boy. I am thirsty. It's hot. Man, I'm so glad summer is here, but man, whoo, my mouth is like wisdom, cotton. Dude. Wisdom, God's wisdom. Come and get it. God's wisdom. wisdom? Yeah, God's wisdom. How about like, I don't know, lemonade, water, Gatorade, a cold Coke? I have God's wisdom. That's what I have. God's wisdom. Yep. How, how do I get God's wisdom? You know what? I'm so glad you asked. Because I mean, there's nothing on this table, so. Well, you're going to find out today. So you know how you asked me how you get wisdom? Yeah. Well, there's this guy in the Bible. His name is King Solomon, and he was the wisest man to ever live. Like, ever. <sighs> so I thought it might be helpful if you check out his story and see how he got the wisdom that he has. That makes sense. Yeah, so I'm let's done. go check it out. Cool. David was old. He had been the king of Israel for many years, and now his son Solomon was going to be king. God had promised David that Israel's king would always be someone from his family. Before David died, he gave Solomon some instructions. Be strong and brave, Solomon, David said. Obey God and you will be successful. God will keep his promise that every king of Israel will come from our family. When David died, Solomon became the king of Israel. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. God said, Solomon, ask for anything you want and I will give it to you. Anything? A king might have asked to live a long life or to have lots of riches. Solomon could have asked God to give him victory over all his enemies. But Solomon did not ask to be rich or to have a long life. Solomon wanted to be a good king. He asked for something even better. Solomon prayed, God, I am young and I do not know very much about being a king. Please make me wise and obedient to you. Help me know the difference between right and wrong. Help me lead your people well. God was happy with Solomon's request. God said, I will give you wisdom. In fact, I will make you more wise and understanding than anyone who has ever lived. No one in the future will ever be as wise as Solomon. Then God said, because you asked for wisdom, I will also give you what you did not ask for, long life, riches, and honor. You will be greater than any other king during your lifetime. <gasps> Solomon woke up and realized God had spoken to him in a dream. Solomon praised God and offered sacrifices to worship him. Solomon was a wise king who wanted to do God's plan. God planned to give his people a greater and wiser king, his son, Jesus. Jesus completely trusted God with his life. Jesus surrendered his own life to die on the cross for our sin. So as we just saw, God came to King Solomon in a dream. Yep. And in that dream, he asked Solomon what he wanted. He could have asked for anything. He could have asked for all the money in the world. Oh he could have asked for a pretty wife. Like, anything he wanted, he could have asked for. But what did he ask for? Wisdom. Yeah. Have you ever had a dream like that? Has God ever came to you like that before? I wish. 
<laughs> no, that would be hasn't. pretty sweet. That would be awesome. So what do we do? I don't know. Well, we have this awesome thing here called the Bible. Yeah. And you know, King Solomon didn't have the Bible, but we uh, have it. So we're going to go to God's word and see what he tells us about wisdom. Okay. So we're going to go to the book of James. Yep. And in James chapter one, verse five, it says this. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Oh, okay. It's easy as that. So you just ask God. Yeah, we just ask him. Go to the Bible. Yep. The Bible says to ask God. Yep. I ask God for wisdom. There you go. I'm just going to, can I just pray right now and ask God for wisdom? Yeah, of course. Are you cool with that? Yeah, let's do it. God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for Solomon and the, the man in the Bible and women in the Bible that we can learn from. God, I today right now just ask you for your wisdom. I have a wife. I have kids. I have a ministry. And God, I just want to be able to lead my wife and my kids better. Lord, I want to be able to lead my ministry better. I want my relationships to be better. And I need wisdom on how to handle life, on how to, how to handle situations. And so, God, I just ask for your wisdom. God, I ask that you fill me with your wisdom. And right now, I just say thank you because I believe your word is true. And your word teaches me that if I ask for wisdom, you'll give it. And so, God, I ask right now for wisdom. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. That was awesome. Wow. Man, that's cool. I didn't know it was that easy. Yeah. Wow. So there's one more thing that we can do, though. Yeah. So we went to God's word. Yep. We asked him for wisdom. Yep. And the third thing that you can do is you can surround yourself with people who will always challenge you to do that, who will challenge oh, you to wow. go to God's word, who will challenge you in prayer and encourage you to yeah. ask God for wisdom. That's a really important thing. Wow. So, like, I don't need friends who are going to do this. What's up, man? What's up, man? Are you looking for wisdom? Because you're hungry, but you don't have no money. Wisdom. Schmizdom. Forget that, man. Find yourself a nice little wallet with some money in it. In it. Yep, yep. Take it. <laughs> or friends who are going to do this. Oh, what's up? Billy Bad friend. I heard you want to go to your friend's house, but your mama said, no, well, guess what? You need some wisdom on that. Put some schmizdom on that. Take them keys and drive yourself to your friend's house. Huh? <laughs> or this. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Billy Bad Friend here. I heard that they was talking crazy to you on the bus. You need some wisdom on how to handle that? Wisdom schmizdom. Smack him in the face. <laughs> So what you're telling me is that in order to get God's wisdom, we go to God's word, yep. we study it, we read it, we do what it says to do. Yep. And that the word teaches us that if we want God's wisdom, we just have to ask him for it. Yep. Okay. So I went to his word, I asked him for it, and now I just got to make sure that who I'm surrounding myself with, my friends, people that I listen to, are people who are going to encourage me to continue to go to the word yep. and to pray. Yeah, those three things. I can do that, man. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. I'm so excited that wisdom is so easy to get. Yeah, it I is. I thought it was so hard. Nope, easy as that. One, two, three. Man, you guys can have his wisdom, yeah, too. Yeah, you guys sure can. All you got to do is go to the Word, ask him for it, and make sure your friends are going to keep telling you to go to the Word and keep asking him for it. Yep. We can do this. Man, it's awesome, Kayla. It is. Good stuff. Yeah. This week you guys found out just how easy it is to get God's wisdom. Just through reading his word and asking him. Easy as that. That's so amazing. So simple. And next week, you're going to find out why we need God's wisdom. How is it applicable for you? What are you going to do with it? So make sure you tune in next week to find all that out. That's good. I'm so excited. See y'all next week. Hey, guys. I forgot to put the challenge in at the end of the video when we're recording. So here it is. I'm also trying to put my kids down for a nap. So this is the challenge. You have to draw a picture, okay? You have to draw a picture of one of two things you can pick. Either draw a picture of King Solomon and all of his wisdom, maybe in his dream where he uh, sees God, or maybe when he's asking God for wisdom, or you can draw a picture of you saying no to Billy Bad Friend. The Billy Bad Friend is that guy in that green hoodie. People keep saying he looks like me. I don't see it. But he's a bad friend. He just keeps telling us to do bad things. So draw a picture of you saying no to Billy Bad Friend. 
and then submit it to caringplacekids2020 at gmail.com. We're going to pick a winner this week, and it could be you. So draw your pictures, submit it, and you're going to be the next champ.